upon those of us who are sitting in the chariot that is of death. And he set our feet upon the path of peace to let me struggle for you and son. Praise and praise the Holy One. Oh, Virgin Mary, pray for us. You are the center of God because we carry the foot of the blessed fire with sheep of the sanctuary. He who forgives sin and destroys the kidneys. He who is the word of God who can incarnate as you. And he who offers that to his father. Inside of us, incense and precious offerings, virgin prayers to the Holy One. Oh, Holy Virgin Mary, pray for us. You are the garden of the Lord, the garden of joy, which is planted in the trees of heaven, and was prepared for the sin before the world was created. And a great charity that God is that tribal and seraphim, that will fashion up in the flame of fire. One of the seraphim who took away from heaven and set it away in the sanctuary, blessed are thou among women, the Holy Spirit shall come upon thee, and the power of the high shadow of the of thee, for he who dwells about the cherub inside becomes the light of all the world. Rejoice, O Mary, beautiful dove, you have gone forth to her, O God, and you are the sweet scent of sorrow, which has sprung up from the root of Jesse. Praise the Lord, the Holy One. Oh, Holy Virgin Mary. You are like unto the rod of Aaron, which is out being planted with a bomb on the dark water and burst into blossom. In like manner, you, O God of God, did bring forth Christ our God in truth. Without sin, he came and delivered us. Praise the Lord, the Holy One. Oh, Holy Virgin Mary. It is meet for you, O you who are full of grace, for all the sins of God on behalf. You are great in my heart, you son, you are more honorable than the prophets. <coughs> and you, the majesty of our parents, which is greater than the majesty of the seraphim and cherubim. Verily, you are the glory of all race, and you are she who must beg for life for our souls. Pray, Lord, and our behalf, to our Lord, and Redeemer Jesus Christ. That he may confirm us in the right way, that is to say, faith in him, and that he may graciously bestow upon us his mercy and compassion, and may his abundant mercy forgive us our sins forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord of the Holy One. Oh, Holy Virgin Mary, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters, brothers.
as governors and sufferers has kept us and brought us men, receive us unto himself, and undertake in our defense, and strengthen us and brought us unto this hour. Let us therefore pray that Almighty Lord, O God, keep us in this holy day and all the days of our life in all peace. Praise the Lord God Almighty, the Father of our Lord and our God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Render the thanks upon everything, for everything and everything. For thou hast covered us and succored us, hast kept us and brought us land, and received us unto thyself, and hast taken our defense, and strengthened us and brought us unto this hour. And treat the unbeseed of the Lord and pity upon us, and be merciful to us, and receive from supplication to me, saints on behalf, according to what I see and at all times, so that you will meet us and meet the party of the communion of blessed sacrament, and forgive us our sins. Yes, so for this cause we pray and entreat of thy goodness, full of our man. Grant us to complete this holy day and all the days of our life in all peace along with thy fear. All envy, all trial, all the working of Satan, the counsel of evil, and all the prize and adversary, secret and open. All the things that are expedient and excellent, command our prayers. For thou art you have given us power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and upon all the four of enemy. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us and rescue us from all evil. In the grace and love and kindness which was shown by love towards mankind of thy only begotten Son, our Lord and our God and our Savior Jesus Christ, to hope to thee with him by the Holy Spirit, the life giver, who is co equal with thee, and fitting glory, honor, and dominion. Both now and ever and will without end. Amen.
Lord, and change this brain to become thy pure body, and what is made in this cup to become thy precious blood, let him be offered for us all for healing and for the salvation of our soul and our body and our spirit. Thou art the King of our soul, Christ our God, and to thee we send up high praise and glory and worship for thy good heavenly Father, and the Holy Spirit, the life and voice co equal with thee, both now and ever and will without end.
But she that labored in pleasure is dead while she labored. And these things give charge that they may be blameless. But if any provide not for his own, and especially for those of his own house, he had denied the faith and the words that done and infidel. Let not the widow be taken into numbers under three score years old, having been the wife of one man, well reported of for good work. If she have brought up children, if she have loved strangers, if she have washed the saints feet, if she have relieved the afflicted, if she have diligently followed every good work. Amen. The blessing of the Father, and the love of the Son, and the gift of the Holy Spirit was shaped upon a person of my holy Zion. And I saw to me multiply upon me and all of you. Holy Apostle Paul, good messenger, heal of the sick, who have received the cross, ask and pray for us, so that he may save our souls, and the multitude of his mercy and his pity for his holy name's sake.
our tens of thousands, no our incense, our Sivya, for God is come and saved us, have mercy upon us. Forgive us our sins.
Here yeah, to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every man that openeth the womb shall be called holy to the Lord, and to offer a sacrifice according to that which is said in the law of the Lord. A pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And the same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see them before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And he came by the Spirit into the temple. And when the parent brought in the Christ child to do for him after the custom of the Lord, they took him. Then took he him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now let us your servant depart in peace according to thy word. For my eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. And Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. And Simeon blessed them, and said unto Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rise again of many in Israel, and for a sign which shall be spoken again. Amen. It is easier for a man to pray than for one to the Lord to God. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? Thou art the God that doest wonders. Thou hast declared thy strength among the people. Thou hast with thy arm redeemed thy people. Thou didst go into Hades, and the captives rose up from there. And thou didst come and save us. For this cause we glorify thee and cry unto thee, saying, Blessed art thou, Lord Jesus Christ, for thou didst come and save us. Amen. Glory be to thee, Lord our God Almighty, who has made us meet in the air, the word of the Holy Gospel, and the greatest of the rejoice in it. Again, we ask to see that thou shouldst write the word of the Holy Gospel in our hearts, and accept our prayer in this thy temple. Then our Lord Jesus Christ has entered, and send thy mercy and thy compassion upon us and upon thy people, to thy only begotten Son, who died with the glory and power of the Holy Spirit.
Lord, the Father of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ, we ask and treat of thy goodness, O love of man. Remember, Lord, our congregation, bless them. Make us all make 
fejtálló kárkezeti, a gyermekai helyzetbe tösszövítő napon, ki nem a gyermekai valószínű, a nagyot adat mentsen a szesztartóan, ki nem a gyermekai valószínű későn tudi, ó, már te tízes száj, ki nem a gyermekai helyzetbe tösszövítő napon, ki nem a gyermekai helyzetbe tösszövítő napon, ó, lord, kérdezzel képül a bestai helyzetben, Vítám a nézem a forrába, Most éjjel a mesi a panapésre, Ártus a mesi a tűzésre, De a mesetben kétolja. Úgyhogy a page 159, Én a page 164, Én a page 154, 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 She was in your virgin. He was led in the manger of the cattle, received the presence of his kingdom, and wept as his bundle, asking for food from the breast of his mother. He walked openly and appeared like a man, ruled the violent land, was baptized in Jordan at the age of thirteen. He stayed in the wilderness as a fasting man, was tempted by the devil. And he created the rulers of darkness through the powers of the king. Jesus Christ would without end. As thou didst say, he that 
that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and I in him. Amen. Lord have pity upon us. Lord spare us. Lord have mercy upon us.
two full of jelly and he did one with his sword and without mixed or confusion, without division or alteration, he very confessed with a good testimony in days of Pontius Pilate. And this boy he gave up for sakes and for the life of us all. Amen, amen, amen. With moment, I believe, I believe, I believe, and I confess that this boy was not separated from his manhood, not from our and hope with twinkle of an eye, but he gave it up for sakes, for life and for salvation. And for remission of sin unto them that partake of it in faith. Amen. 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 With two amen. I believe, I believe, I believe, and I confess that this is the body and blood of our Lord and our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ, and that we are right to one another. Do Yeah, wow. 
also get on the day and enter the way his disciples a little while ago was closed and then departed from his disciples. While he was there, his glory covered the heavens. He ascended unto the heavens, sat at the right hand of his father. Heaven became his throne and it was his footstool. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. He will thunder above and his voice will shake the foundation of the earth. And the dead will come out unto him from their graves. Dear Lord, it is thou who raised all with thy word, who raised the dead through thy death. They are among the unbelievers, those who believe in thy cross. They are among the sinners, those who turn through thy death. They are among the unclean, those who were sanctified through thy suffering. They are among the dead, those who did it, thou didst raise through thy resurrection. And among those who were gathered together to judge thee, there were those who believed in thee. Thou didst open the iron gate and will raise those whose bodies waxed old in grave, and will awaken those who fell asleep in their lifetime, and will raise those lying in the earth, and will set free the sinful slaves and will justify through thy mercy those who are defiled. To whom glory and honor together with his Father, the Holy Spirit, will be without end. Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, cleanse us from all our sins and all unrighteousness.
The waters of baptism is the womb, like the womb of a mother. It is the womb in which the old life of sin is buried. God taught us, his people, through Moses, the spirituality of this. And we see it today with Mary. When a woman brought forth a child, for the first seven days, she was considered within the period of that birth as she was in the period of seeing the month and menstruation appears. A period of uncleanliness, which the body had to come back to purification. So she had to stay for those seven days in that period of uncleanliness. And on the eighth day, the child was able to be circumcised if he was a boy. And the womb, the old life of sin, was buried. Forty days after, she had to come to the temple before the Ark of the Covenant to purify herself. We see Mary this morning fulfilling that law. It's spiritual. In so doing, she met a great character. In fact, two. But the protagonist is one called Simeon. Simeon was under the law which he tried to break. How? Simeon was one of those great scholars, those great men in Israel who was chosen to translate the Torah when they went down into Egypt to translate the Torah into Greek, what we have as the Septuagint. And when he came to the translation that spoke about a virgin will bring forth a child in his great wisdom and his great power, he said, this is not possible. This is outside the law of nature. A virgin cannot bring forth a child. And he wrote differently, changed it, and God appeared to him. He said, because you do not believe the word of God, you will not see death until you see this word fulfilled. It is this Simeon who lived generation after generation and could not die. Like I said, he was an old man. Death was afraid of him. Death ran from him. He couldn't die. And he lived generation to came and go. And Simeon just stayed there living. When Christ came and was brought to the temple, and his mother signified purification, salvation, and he saw the Christ. He used the words, Lord, now you are letting your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all peoples, a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. When he confessed this and he showed his faith, he was able to die. The power of faith exceeds the law. And Mary came to fulfill the law and all righteousness. 
by bringing salvation into the temple. And Simeon was there to fulfill this. It is great. Today is a great day for us. When Simeon sung this song, he confessed his faith and he was able to die. God calls us today to test our faith in him. Our experiences in life today are beyond the law. The law of nature, the law of science, the law of medicine are penned and subdued by a simple thing like corona. And man has no power. Even at this time, take it to other side in our own country. Today is Carnival Sunday. Today is the greatest in the country with all kinds of experiences of happiness and joy. Today we run behind the big truck and the next two days behind the big truck. Simeon was greater than that. He didn't have to go behind it. In fact, Simeon drove the big truck in terms of this experience of law and faith. He was the driver of this big truck in this message today. And the church wants to teach us to understand that. If you could understand our own culture and the experiences which we know, God wants to bring to us to understand His law. If we can only repent and trust God and believe His word and not our own imagination and our own science and our own fears and our own doubts, but trust God, He can make the impossible possible for us. And today we join the rest of the church. The church throughout the world is asking God to give us that faith and that grace and that mercy to trust Him that He can bring some kind of power. He can bring authority because the gates of hell cannot prevail against His church. How can a church be subjected now to the law of this fight? We ask God to give us the faith to call on Him and to trust Him and to confess, like Simeon, beyond the law, the power of His Word. And we look forward with hope soon to be able, like Simon, like Simeon, to see the salvation of God where our little children and our families and our neighbors and our friends can come to the church and participate in the body and blood of Christ. It is our only hope. Unless we become intimate with God and eat His flesh and drink His blood, we do not have the power of our faith. We ask for His mercy on this day. We ask for the intercession of His mother to fulfill the law of purification and have mercy on us through Jesus Christ. Founding members of our church, Sister Huggins. Her daughter died. Sister Huggins, one of the, she was the first general secretary of our church. And she was here, gave her whole property where the church was when it started. Right here in Rooker Levin. Daughter was in America, she died. We had this memorial for this morning. Cheryl, God bless you. Remember being your prayers. May she find you to the rest of us, both Abraham and Isaac and Jesus. Amen. Oh, eternal God, thy son, 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 thy son,
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 